everybody, Dutch Sense here. 12.33 p.m. Central Time on Thursday, August 8th, 2013. And we're looking at Earthquake 3D here, which is a USGS feed of the most recent earthquakes. Everything 2.5 and greater in the United States and 4.0 and greater internationally. Now there's only one earthquake I want to show you guys today right now. Um, I'm going to be doing a full earthquake update here in the next day or two. But I want to draw your attention to the 3.4 that struck central Oklahoma today. I haven't looked the earthquake up yet, haven't looked up any statistics on it. I've got Google Earth open here. I'm doing this to show you guys how to do this yourselves so you can look up the earthquakes and figure out what's going on at the area epicenters. Uh, anytime you see an earthquake occur in Oklahoma, Arkansas, Texas, South Colorado, uh, anywhere in here, usually there's some kind of pumping, drilling, or fracking operation that's responsible for said earthquake. So uh, let's look this one up. You can get this several different ways. You can go directly to the USGS and they'll have these earthquakes listed 2.5 and greater. Um, or you can use a program like Earthquake 3D. Uh, this version costs $20, I think. Um, but there's other programs that are free and you can get the coordinates from that. So let's look this up. Here are the statistics from the USGS. And you'll notice one thing right off the bat, 3.1 miles deep, five kilometers. Uh, you'll notice this over and over and over again with fracking earthquakes, drilling earthquakes, that they all are generally in the three mile range. Even though that's not as deep as they're drilling, uh, that's actually much deeper than they're drilling, we're seeing earthquakes that are caused by these operations at a much deeper depth. So uh, let's look up this coordinate here. Copy, and we'll go over to Google Earth. We'll put the coordinate in and hit search. And that should bring us down in uh, down in here. Now, here's all my previous place marks for other frac wells and earthquakes that have happened in the area. So here it is, okay? They already have a place mark here. They have it marked as a 3.3. Let's get that. Thursday, August 8th, USGS placed on here by uh, Google Earth themselves. But just back it out just a little bit and you'll see. Okay? Right here. We've got our different holding tanks. Uh, we've got pumping tanks. They're clearly doing something here. This is most likely a compressor station of some point for the larger operations surrounding. Uh, let's go look at a few others. Here's another one right here. Here's an actual injection well. All right, so we've got our cleared pad. You've got a fence around it. You've got your storage tanks that are holding chemicals that are gonna be put in or taken out sometimes, depending on what they're doing. Also collection tanks for gas. And then they have pipelines put in the ground to move the gas to larger processing stations. Now back it out and you'll see that I've already marked several here from other earthquakes that occurred. Here's a 2.9 that occurred July 7th. That brought me to the area to look these up before. Here's a 3.2, March 11th. All right, and then let me back this out and you'll see the size of the pumping operation going on here. Each one of these marked, let's just bring it in here and show you. Okay. Painstakingly, I took some time to do this, guys, and I haven't even scratched the surface on however many there are. When you really look around the area, uh, there's some very serious pumping going on here, injection into the earth. Just take a look. And look at all the different earthquakes that have been caused. May, December 2012, uh, we saw 5.0 earthquakes happen in Oklahoma over the last two years caused by fracking. So it's really easy for you guys to do this. Just pull the coordinates, go look them up, see what's there. I see on USGS now, you can view the location on Google Maps. So maybe they're getting wise to this and uh, tired of hearing it from the internet, and now you can just go look it up yourself. I urge you guys to do that and to understand that earthquakes caused by man, man-made earthquakes induced seismicity, are never good. Never good to be inducing earthquakes, especially when it can lead to larger earthquakes, as we've seen in the past. The 5.0 happened on top of a swarm of other earthquakes inside of the fracking operation in Oklahoma in 2011. It caused house damage, people got injured, so we're talking very serious consequences earthquake-wise for this. Now, if you look at the uh, area in general, it's the southern portion of the North American craton. The craton begins, it's a, the unsubducted portion of the North American plate, we could call it. 
starts up here in the northwest, curls down here through Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and then curls back up here to Canada where you see the split here in the continent. That is actually part of the craton itself, the edge. Uh, beyond the edge, down to the south, is the deformed edge, and then we go out to the coastal plains. Okay, but the central portion of the craton has remained relatively undisturbed for a very long period of time. Now we are injecting those portions of the edge to extract natural gas, uh, to break the shale, to release the natural gas. That's going to cause earthquake activity, obviously. But I believe that if they're doing it in a fault zone, such as the New Madrid or Wabash Valley seismic zone, that that could induce larger earthquake movement like we saw in the past. 5.0 in central Arkansas, 5.0 in Oklahoma, 5.0 in southern Colorado, all at fracking operations. Okay? Much love, folks. Hang in there and be safe.